Election shenanigans continued, and some people are looking to expose it. Nice. And riots in New York City. Commies in the streets. It's ridiculous. But I guess it's basically not news anymore, right? This is the end of Hour 1, Friday, November 6th, 2020. The Jesse Lee Peterson Show. Stay tuned for Hour 3. This is the end of Hour 2, right? I forget. And... uh, Jesse Lee Peterson will be right back at 7.55 a.m. here in Los Angeles after Jesse Lee catch the Hake Report, thehakereport.com. I'm live Monday through Friday, 9 a.m., two hours. You can call in the same number that you called Jesse's show. Shenanigans continued. Breaking 911 reports. A U.S. postal worker was caught at the Canadian border with stolen ballots in, the, in his car trunk. The Epic Times reported this same thing early this morning. It wasn't like a whole bunch of ballots, just three, but it was a whole lot of mail in general. And it shows how untrustworthy the U.S. Postal Service is, thanks to the decline of society's morals at large, right? But this guy's November 3rd Facebook post reads, If you didn't go, please go vote. Hashtag I voted 2020. Brandon Wilson. He black age 27, of Buffalo, New York, was arrested and charged with a criminal complaint with delay and destruction of mail. Maximum penalty, five years in prison and a $250,000 fine. He won't get anything like that. This office is committed not only to ensuring the integrity of the mails, but also of individuals' rights to vote in a free and fair election, stated U.S. Attorney James Kennedy. Yeah, right, right. The criminal conduct with which this defendant is alleged to have engaged undermined both of those interests. Here's how it went down. According to the complaint, on Election Day, November 3rd, 2020, approximately 7.34 p.m., Customs and Border Protection, CBP officers, encountered Wilson, an employee of the U.S. Postal Service, at the Peace Bridge Port of Entry as part of a standard CBP vehicle sweep. Wilson opened the trunk for, of his vehicle for Customs and Border Officers. A U.S. Postal Service mail bin containing numerous pieces of mail were observed by a course, uh, border agent inside of the trunk. The border officers observed multiple uniform items bearing the logo and all that stuff. Wilson stated that the mail belonged to him and his mother. Lying. Lying, black man. However, Wilson could not account for additional names printed on the mail pieces, Wilson further stated that he had intended to deliver the mail (laughs) and had forgotten to return the mail pieces to the post office. Just trying to run away to Canada. Three absentee ballots sent to two Buffalo, New York addresses. Were they white people? Were they Republicans? 106 political mailings, 220 first class mailings, 484 standard mailings for an approximate total of 813 mail pieces. And he tried to say, oh, that's me and my mom's. <laughs> Some real shenanigans. Former data, former Trump data strategist Matt Brainerd raised $100,000 to analyze all absentee ballot requests against Social Security death data and address change data. He raised that money and updated his request to $250,000 because he wants to run call centers to run down inactive slash less active or moved voters who are marked as having voted. He says that he'll get anyone who said that they didn't sign, that, that they didn't vote, to sign affidavits and hand them to law enforcement or prosecutors or the FBI or the press. Big thinker, huh? He says he doesn't want a dime for himself. Interesting. This has gone on before Revolver News reports statistical anomalies uncovered fraud in the 2018 North Carolina U.S. congressional race. They fixed it. The Atlantic reports they used absentee ballots to commit fraud. An operative named McCray Dowless, Leslie McCray Dowless Jr., a 60-something-year-old white male, had, according to numerous affidavits and accounts by people in Bladen County, run a huge scheme to stuff the ballot box for a Republican, Mark Harris, using absentee ballots. Interesting, they only find it when a Republican does this voter fraud stuff, huh? Selective enforcement? Selective investigation? White criminals not as slick as black? Affirmative action? I'm James Hake, now on to Jesse, Hour 3.